Hi again, guys. Uh, we're going to continue uh, talking about classes, though this is going to be one of those times when I, it's not really a new feature or a new concept in C++, really, but um, more an, an example of potential with what we've already learned, because I think that's kind of the best way to start to get comfortable with classes or anything, really, is to just try to use them in a really... Uh, applicable or practical project. So basically our goal for this is let's say you um, I don't know maybe you have a work or a job or something or maybe you want to clock the amount of time that you're doing homework that'll be a little bit more realistic because um, we'll need more precise numbers. So let's say uh, you, you counted how much time it's taking you to do your homework every night and so maybe Day one, you got one hour, 35 mins, and then let's do seconds, even though usually you wouldn't record it in a second, but we'll just be demonstrating. Maybe day two, you got two hours, one minute, and then 14 seconds. Day three, zero hours, 50 minutes, and 15 seconds. Day four, one hour, 12 minutes, and 12 seconds. And then day five, you may have one hour, uh, 34 minutes, and uh, 38 seconds. Okay, so now if you wanted to find the total of this, um, it's kind of a pain because you have to add up seconds and then worry about carrying over the minutes if it ever goes over 60, and then do the same with the minutes and do the same with the hours. So that's that's not very fun. Wouldn't it be cool if we could get C++ to do it with an elegant class? Um, and so yeah, that's, that's basically what we're going to be doing. This is actually one of my favorite. This is one of the first really uh, impressive examples that I saw of applicable classes. So I think it's pretty cool. Oh, so we're going to have a construct. Okay, so we had four members. I can type those without saying anything. Four members, days, hours, minutes, seconds. Uh, I guess days isn't really going to matter unless, okay, let's just for the sake of having days actually matter. Let's add this time it took you 22 hours and 11 minutes and 13 seconds to do your homework. And on day seven, it took uh, eight 19 hours and 57 minutes and 50 seconds. Okay, even though no one ever would, I would hope nobody has 22 hours of homework on one day, but um, I just want to show days. So this isn't necessarily homework time, that was just an example I thought of. So in our constructor, we're going to take uh, some initial arguments, which will be the initial date or days, hours, minutes, and seconds of our time object. And then we'll also have a destructor, which isn't really going to do anything. And then I'm going to have a void add time function. And so that's what we'll use to actually add this amount of time. So we'll put in a number of days, hours, minutes, or seconds. And we'll add those to our object. And then I'm also going to have a private method which you haven't seen before. Um, basically, anything that's private, you can't access outside of uh, the actual methods of the class. So I, I'm not going to be calling this outside of the class. I'm going to be calling it within the class. And it's going to be an adjust time uh, method. And all it's going to do is um, basically... So once the minutes, if we add this time... We're just going to, you know, minutes plus equals m. That's all we're going to be doing there. So then we'll use this adjust time method to figure out, you know, do we have over 60 minutes? If we do, it'll carry over an hour. And uh, that's what this method is going to do. Uh, okay, and then let's also have a um, void output function, which will just output the time. We'll use that output. OK, 
Okay, let's start off with the constructor. Okay. Um, let's make the destructor. Even though this destructor isn't going to do anything, it's not a bad idea to have it around. Though, it's definitely not necessary. So like I said, this isn't even going to be that complicated. We're just going to do this. Yeah, so we haven't done anything very exciting yet. The real magic of this class that makes it, you know, the difficult part that would be adding these up is this adjust time function. So there are a few ways to do it, as there almost always are, to do anything. Um, I'm going to do it using a few while loops, because it makes the most sense to me to do it that way. And I think it's the most intuitive. Um, so basically this is just all we're going to do. We're going to have a while loop, and we're going to say, well, seconds is greater than or equal to 60. So basically while seconds is a value greater than 60 we're gonna minus that 60 from seconds and in return we're gonna add one to minutes so if we have more than 60 seconds we'll take off those 60 seconds and add one to minutes and then we'll check that again and if we still have over 60 seconds it'll do it again until seconds is less than 60 and then we'll do the same for minutes. But we'll increase hours instead. And then we'll also do the same for hours. Uh, but make sure you use 24 and not 60 because this time we'll be um, increasing days. Uh, okay, that should work. That's all we need to do. That should do it for this class. Not even that complicated, really. This is really the only thing that's kind of tricky, and that wasn't too bad. So now let's let's give this a shot. I'm gonna make our time, and I'm just gonna call it T, and let's get these over here. Oh wait, I forgot to. There was one more in that output function. We are gonna need that. Uh, okay, it's gonna be kind of a pain. I'm going to do, let's see, uh, let's see, sometimes when you're working with all these variables, it's kind of tricky to get it all to look nice. should work. Oh, that looks weird, but whatever. Okay, let's start it off. Zero days, one hour, 35 minutes, 37 seconds. So actually, let's do like this. Day one, and then we'll t.output, you know, we'll call that method. And then we'll t dot add time two or zero days two hours one or, where are my comments come on and fourteen seconds see how day two um I'm actually gonna throw a couple extra return keys actually I should well yeah I'll just use the escape. I think I've covered this this backslash n it's the same as it's a return so that'll just make it look a little bit easier to read uh, okay well d uh, add time are we on day three we got zero days zero hours 50 minutes 15 seconds
uh, ooh, zero days, one hour, twelve minutes, twelve seconds. That's day four. Oh man, day five. This is taking a while. Thirty-four, thirty-eight. Then again, if you think about how long this would take to do by hand, especially if you had a whole lot of times, you can actually show, I mean, there I'll, I'll show you, there's a more efficient way to do this and then calling these methods. That'll be pretty cool once you see it in action. Am I doing that? Yeah. Which I'll show pretty soon, because it's pretty awesome.